15 styles of Shotokan, the late Gichin Funakoshi's orthodox instruction. General Supervision, Masatoshi Nakayama, Chief Instructor of the Japan Karate Association. Let's watch each movement respectively. In the third and sixth movements, you must move your hands and feet in accordance with the rotational motion of the hips. From Gidan Juji Uke to Jodan Juji Uke, pull your arms up before your breast while crossing your wrists. Then catch the opponent's fist by pushing it up. In the 13th movement, it's important to push your elbows and knees up simultaneously. After landing in the 19th movement, stand crossing your feet with your weight on the right foot, similar to Heian Yonda. In the 21st movement, turn the hips left and look behind. Then strike your right hand towards your left knee. Quickly transfer your weight onto the right foot and making your fist, pull your right hand up as the left hand comes down, as if stretching a piece of rubber. The basis of this form is frequently used in empty. Let's have another look from the beginning. Nakayama will explain the essential points. After Jodan Juji Uke, strike down the opponent's fist, which is thrusting towards the pit of your stomach. Then redirect the right fist to the side with ski uke. After kake uke, kick mikazuki geri and immediately get through with your elbow to the opponent's body. In Mikazuki Geri, it is important to lift your knee high without changing the height of your hips. Always focus your eyes directly on the present target while maintaining a lookout for your next target.
Teki is the driving force of karate, giving power to the waza. It is also the kata to discipline your waist and to acquire the skill to stand properly. Teki Shodan. in detail. However much movement, you must continue standing kibadachi. Even when you attack on the opponent's side, you must keep the position beneath the hips to the front. Although Teki has rather simple action, turn your head spiritedly and energetically. When you attack to the side, you must turn your head first. In the 10th and 14th movements, you turn your head only. and 23rd movements, you need not twist your arm because you catch the opponent's fist with Haiwan Jo Dan Nagashi Uke. The back of your hand still turns outward. has only transverse movement. When moving from side to side, there's a tendency to move forward. Please pay close attention not to move forward. Let's have another look from the beginning.
explanation of the essential points by Instructor Nakayama. In this foot movement, step moving your knee in a high arc. your breast in this kagitsuki. To make this form, lower your shoulder and stick it out forward a little bit. Making perfect form of the shoulder enables you to thrust with stretch and power and you will make progress in uke. This is a special kick, Nami Gaishi. You must kick your foot over inside using a springy knee without changing your basic position. You will need to practice this exercise constantly.